Hey, so what is going on guys? It is your boy here, of course, the combat consultant, the soundboard guy, Jacob Cooperman. And we have more of a somber video today, more of a disturbing kind of video, because I was originally gonna talk about the ongoing train wreck that is the Ryan Garcia situation in the lead up to his bout with Devin Haney, but things just took a really weird turn. Let's get into it. I don't give a fuck, bro. They held me down and they made me watch the little kids get raped. I don't give a fuck anymore. Bro, they fucking took me to the fucking woods, bro, and they fucking tied I'm not fucking joking, bro. I have fucking proof, bro. I don't give a fuck. Bro, I fucking will show you every fucking video you could ever fucking believe. Bohemian Grove is real. They fucking tied me down and they made me fucking watch, dog. Now, what I've just played for you are snippets from a Twitter live space in which Andrew Tate, who I gotta be honest, I didn't even know how to access to a phone, talks directly to Ryan Garcia following his pseudo disappearance. As I'm led to believe, he didn't have access to his phone and he came out in a video and said that that and his credit cards had been essentially neutralized. Hey guys, it's me, Ryan. Uh, I'm coming on here to explain what's going on. I'm not in possession of my phone. I can't get access to my Instagram. Uh, my cards are locked. And I'm just being real, you know, I'm being real taken advantage. So this comes after all that and after quite frankly, a very disturbing couple of weeks in which his face has swelled up, the quality of his interviews has dropped severely. And quite frankly, you get a vibe that we're not seeing Ryan Garcia. Now I'm not trying to be a conspiracy nut. I, I don't want to come off as if I'm saying that he got taken. What I do find weird is some of the things that Ryan said in the live and how you can kind of draw the comparison to what a lot of other celebrities and figures who go through the same thing say. Because if you look at the parallels, it's actually really really, really unsettling. Now, Ryan mentions heavily in this little chit chat that he has with Andrew Tate, a few things that I've found across the board when these celebrities say, hey, they're, the Illuminati is trying to get me, right? He mentions Bohemian Grove, which is a proven event that takes place somewhere, I think in the Redwoods of California. He alleges that they tied him down and he watched as they graped minors and did a bunch of other sadistic things, as well as he himself being a victim of that same activity when he was younger. That's the first thing that he alleges that I find is a lot of overlap with a lot of these celebrities that come out in protest of this shady Illuminati type group. You know, the path Andrew, you're going down is dangerous, my friend. I don't give a about. fuck. I don't give a fuck. They can't touch me. I'm a God. Well, that's the first point of contention because I care about you a lot and I can assure you from my own personal experience that they can touch you. Then the other thing is God, which I think is awesome if you are a devote Christian uh, to love Jesus. So I'm not saying this to say like you, it's, it's, it's a sham to kind of big up and say, ah, I, I, I'm, I'm, you know, in Jesus Christ's name, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I, I noticed that when a lot of big celebrities seem to crash out like this, one main common theme that I always see is that they are they are constantly referencing in Jesus's name. You could check, I mean, at the Devin Haney press conference, you could check, there's so many instances after this weird activity started. I can't speak to before, but I certainly know after this weird activity started, if nothing else, he is mentioning Jesus a lot more. And the third and final, which I kind of hate to say, is what Andrew Tate, loves to reference all the time is that the matrix or whoever it is is now out to get this person garcia has said that he has received calls of course they already kind of got to him they're already calling me to tell me to stop i don't give a fuck dude i've already had a meeting with them he references them uh trying to find him giving him calls telling him to stop and that he is now kind of this like pseudo on the run speaker of the truth. And he's going to expose this global group. Now, again, I'm not here to refute the existence of this group. They very well could be. It very well could be that he's just been on a drug binge. Maybe he's having a psychotic break because the pressure is getting to him. I don't know what's going on. And I think only those that are really close to Ryan really know what's going on. And most likely, whatever it is, global cabal, drugs, psychotic break, if I'm Ryan's reps, I'm saying let's try to damage control this situation to the best of our ability. Obviously, you don't have complete and full control over someone as their brand manager, as their agent, as their PR team. All we have in front of us and all we know for sure is that Ryan Garcia has been acting strange. He looks different. His face is puffed up. I, I saw his weird facial tics, which is something I didn't see get mentioned a lot. Could be a stress thing that's very consistent with drug use with uppers uh, that make you kind of twitch. You know what I mean? I saw a lot of like, yeah, I mean, uh, it really could be either of those. And that's kind of why I wanted to make this video. There's so much mystery 
around all of this. Now, obviously, the fight's also in jeopardy. Uh, a lot of people are debating whether or not Ryan Garcia should even be fighting Devin Haney right now. I tend not to think so. I agree with Wade. I think he takes time off of the sport. I think there's still time for him to have a beautiful and fruitful career, but whatever is going on with Ryan Garcia now, even if it is the Illuminati knocking on his door, you're not gonna be preoccupied with a boxing match. I don't know, when you got Andrew Tate in a call and he's the one that seems a little bit more wary of this matrix as he did in that call, that that made me kind of pause and kind of say, okay, what really is happening? Out of respect uh, to the situation, if Ryan really is going through some struggles with drug use right now or whatever it is, or if this is just some sort of an elite level troll, I won't speculate on whether or not there's, again, an involvement from some big global cabal here, but it certainly gave me a chill up my spine. Something feels very uneasy about this situation. It is kind of strange that a lot of these cases have big overlapping themes. There's also a lot of references of Ryan Garcia releasing this information at the perfect time, that he does have a lot of information and a lot of proof at his disposal to use in this situation. I honestly think that a lot of that is kind of, it's another common occurrence you see in a lot of these cases where celebrities will say, I have the proof and nothing ever comes out. The fight is supposed to take place April 20th, so we have some time for this all to play out. I'm going to be uh, watching, reviewing, hopefully doing a follow-up video. Uh, hopefully Ryan's okay. I hope the follow-up video I do make is gonna be a lot more positive in nature. I, I hope that this is, I mean, it, it, there's no real uh, good scenario here. I guess the best scenario would be that this was like an elite level troll, right? And and Ryan says, ah, gotcha. You know, this is a great marketing buildup for the fight and it's certainly working if that's the case. I just hope his mental's doing okay. I hope we get to see him perform because regardless of the fact of how many people hate on this kid, he has talent. I don't think anyone would debate that fact. So hopefully Hopefully we can see him back in this ring, but without further ado, it's been your boy, the combat consultant, the soundboard god, Jacob Cooper. Look at pale as a ghost today. Jesus, it's the overhead lighting. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.